I am just eating my apple of the day. Beyond giving Apple the idea of its logo and Newton the idea of gravity, apples also gave many fruits and vegetables their name. You might be thinking of the obvious ones like pineapple or custard apple. But apple even gave names to fruits like bananas, oranges, watermelon, muskmelon, and vegetables like potatoes and tomatoes. It even gave names to things like doorknobs and hand grenades. Let's learn the etymology, which is the study of the origin of words of this amazing fruit in this video. And as a bonus fun fact, stick around till the end of the video to find out which was first, orange the fruit or orange the color. In Old English, the word apple just meant any kind of fruit. It wasn't like this apple. When the Bible was first translated, it said that Adam and Eve ate fruit from a forbidden tree. But they didn't tell what type of tree it was. But nowadays, people think that Adam and Eve actually ate this kind of apple. But people couldn't just call all kinds of fruit apples. They need to specify it. So they called all types of fruits something that linked with apple. For example, a banana. A banana they called apple of the paradise. And when they saw a fruit that looked like a pine cone, they called it pineapple. That's one we still use today. Just like they called any type of fruit an apple, in Latin they called any type of fruit melon, which later became melon. And when a melon was filled with water, they called it watermelon. And when it had powerful fragrance like musk, they called it musk melon. But the word melus was only used for fruit in Latin till 400 AD. After that, it was changed to pomum. The word pomum also meant fruit or apple, which became pomo in Italy. Hence the word pomodoro, which means tomato, is golden apple in English. In French, pomum became to be pomé, which means apple or fruit. So I just searched it up on Google and what I was saying as pomé is actually pronounced pomme. So potato in French means pomme de terre, which is literal meaning in English is earth apple. And the cool and funny part is French fries in French are pomme feets, which are fried apples. Would you like to eat fried apples? Continuing with French, the word grenade means many seeds. And you guessed it, the word pomegranate, which is pomegranate in English, means apple with many seeds. And it's not surprising, while thinking of the name of the explosive grenade, they thought they looked like pomegranates. So they named them grenade. So next time you're traveling to France, if someone offers you a grenade, it's probably safe to think that they're offering you the fruit, not the weapon. So what about the orange? Well, the word orange originally came from the Sanskrit word Narang. As the fruit traveled from India, it picked up many new names, like the word Narang from Arabia. And the word Narang became Arancho in Italian. But the word Arancho actually means orange tree. The fruit orange means Malarancho which translates to apple of the orange tree. Apple from the orange tree? Nowadays, we talk about not comparing apples from oranges. But I guess back then, that they meant the same thing. Later in the 16th century, orange, the color, was also added to the dictionary. 
but the fruit existed a long time back. And now you can tell your friends, the fruit came long before the color. And when you eat an apple, no, um, if, an apple, um, an apple, um, an apple this time, don't forget that it's an origin of many different fruits. And as always, thanks for watching and keep learning.